Your Excellency, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica and the Distinguished First Lady. Your Excellency, former President of the Commonwealth of Dominica and his distinguished wife. Your Excellency, Acting Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Your Excellency's Ministers, Your Excellency Members of Parliament, Your Excellency's Ambassadors and Members of the Diplomatic Corps and Members of the Public Service, Distinguished Guests, Good Afternoon. After the speech of the Honorable Minister Ian Douglas, I have nothing left to say, so I'll keep mine very short. It is with great pleasure I stand before you this afternoon on the site of the Cabrits Resort, Kempinski, Dominica. I think it was in 2017, I was in my office in Dubai, late one evening. 2013, I was in my office in Dubai late one evening. And I received a call from one of my team members saying they had just met a senior member of the Dominica government who was passing through the UAE and she wished to meet me to discuss investment in Dominica. After two hours of hearing about your, now our, beautiful and splendid country, the journey to create what will be this ultra-luxury high-end resort began. A few months later, I found myself in Dominica, touring the island, looking for the perfect site. Somewhere pristine, somewhere quiet, and most of all, somewhere enveloped by national beauty with a spectacular beach. Somewhere where nature could meet luxury, and somewhere where luxury could meet nature. Not an easy task, and in full honesty, I nearly failed. I spent two days driving around the island to find perfection. And as we went through site by site by site on the list, my colleagues who were accompanying, accompanying me could see the disappointment in my face. All of a sudden, the eureka moment happened, and we stopped at the top of the road, and the lady accompanying me jumped out of the car in her high heels and ran down the trail just there. I followed her, not being able to keep my breath, and as soon as we came to the end of the trail, I saw the view. And there it was, the home of the Kempinski Dominica. This site, without doubt, rivals any other hotel site in the Caribbean. Natural beauty, calm waters. And before you clap, Minister, you have my pledge. We will respect the environmental integrity of this site as we are entrusted to do so. Develop in harmony with the land and sea to ensure sustainability. Since my first trip to Dominica over 18 months back, it must have been a dozen times that I've now been to Dominica as negotiations with the government continued. Diligence was thorough and both ways. The government needed to be certain. Range had the resources, both technical and financial, to complete the project. And more so, the tenacity to ensure completion. Creating something beautiful, whatever the trait, is never straightforward. I believe my company's track record in this region is accomplished. We are the developers of the Park Hyatts and Kits, which is on track for completion for the 2016 season. The Park Hyatt Resort has been acclaimed by the international media as one of the most anticipated hotel openings in the next 12 months. And the list of design awards we have won, including the best newly designed hotel in the Americas for our development in St. Kitts, is long, a testament to my company's execution ability. Today in St. Kitts, we have over 300 people working on our site. This figure will shortly increase to 500 as we hurry towards completion. In the next 12 months, 300 permanent positions will be created by my company in St. Kitts for hotel operations. The vast majority of these jobs will be filled by locals. Whilst it is in terms of background about our achievements in St. Kitts, what is more important to all of you present here today is what we will do in Dominica. We are single-minded and focused in our aim to build a resort on this site that will be the envy of your neighboring islands. It is no accident the French man who addressed us earlier, Mr. Destrebaz, did not select Guadeloupe over there for your first Kempinski. He chose Dominica, something of which all of us should be proud. <laughs> we are even more focused on ensuring an expeditious completion. We have a 30-month construction program. Quarter to 2018, we aim for this resort to open. We mobilize to site imminently all our pre-construction studies, whether it is financial, feasibility, environmental, and geotechnical have been completed. In construction, you cannot proceed by trial and error. 
a developer who does not prepare will fail. I am blessed to have two partners and fellow board members, one of whom has a tremendous development pedigree, Mr. Kamal Shahada, the other of whom, Mr. Munaf Ali, has an unrivaled skill set in sales and marketing. I would request both of them to stand at this juncture so I may introduce them to you. I would also request Mrs. Shahada to stand and Mr. Nasser Shahada, who is our Assistant Development Director, to stand so they also may be familiar to you. Thank you. Construction will ramp up quickly and job creation will follow in tandem. This resort will employ close to 500 people at the peak of construction and a similar number during operations. Twice this number will be employed indirectly servicing the hotel, whether that is the individual who sells us stones, the individual who provides tours to the discerning guests, the individual who sells us produce. We welcome all local vendors and entrepreneurs with open arms. Please introduce yourself to us and let us work together. This is not just a hollow statement for the media who is gathered here today and your benefit. Give me a chance and you will see this promise come to life. Indeed, hold me accountable to this promise. After the devastation caused by Tropical Storm Erica, this project shows the world Dominica is fighting back. <laughs> Dominica is not just relying on the international community for aid. It is encouraging investment and ensuring foreign investment materializes. This, product has all, this project has already generated millions in government taxes through the Citizenship by Investment project and will continue to generate tens of millions in government taxes over the next 30 months. This project is a testament to our combined vision and hard work, a journey which started a few years back with my meeting in Dubai. But really, that journey started many years back, as we heard from the good minister, and when, when Dominica embarked on its tourism master plan. Dominica has unique potential amongst its neighbors, a landscape which is not seen in other Caribbean islands, the opening of the Kempinski and other similar developments will allow the world to share and briefly experience your country's beauty. Today, we are breaking ground for a Kempinski Hotel, a hotel group which is the oldest and leading European luxury hotel operator, established in 1897. And Mr. Desterbats, you look pretty young for that. Kempinski boasts an enviable family of hotels in their portfolio, whether this is the Chiran Palace in Istanbul, the Hotel Adalon in Berlin, the Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi, or the Sunrise Hotel in Beijing. We welcome you, Kempinski. We are privileged to work with you, and I also remind you, you are privileged to work with the people of Dominica. This hotel will be one of your landmark resorts, and that we all agree, having jointly prepared the designs for what will be this spectacular facility. Mr. Desterbats, we have a combined responsibility to staff the resort with Dominicans at senior level. I will have failed in my aspirations if this is not achieved. Middle and senior management must comprise Dominicans. We cannot wake up in... We cannot wake up in 2018 and start this process. This process must start now, and indeed this process started this morning. Mr. Shahada and Mr. Desterbrads visited the State College and met with the principals and more so presented to the students and the hospitality faculty. This cooperation will continue and enhance as we focus on training individuals from Dominica, both at the State College and through scholarships and internships to other Kempinski hotels over the coming months and years. I think I've spoken for too long and far beyond my allotted time, but it is an important day for all of us, so please forgive me. A day which we should remember and be proud of. It is a day for celebration, albeit a short one. We have reached a milestone, but that is just what this is. It is a milestone on our journey. Hard work, focus, and determination, as the good pastor mentioned, is needed to ensure we achieve our development aspirations and timeline to ensure expeditious completion in April 2018. I say to my team and my partners, celebrate tonight, but tomorrow calls for more hard work and more determination. The real celebration will be the opening of this hotel, not today. In conclusion, allow me to extend my thanks and appreciation to all of those who have trusted us 
and had confidence in us and been instrumental to make this happen. The government of the Commonwealth of Dominica has been pragmatic and instrumental in its approach to ensure this project becomes a reality. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Your team have worked hard and continues to do so. You should be proud of all of them. I also thank my team, Ms. Skerritt, who you've heard from, Mr. Clive and his wife, Isin, who are our project directors and interior directors. I appreciate your support and the wider team back in St. Kitts, Dubai, and soon to be Dominica. To all of you from the local community and beyond, I ask you to hold hands with us with a firm grip and clap loudly to ensure this project benefits the people of Dominica for generations to come. Our arms are open, and based on my interactions to date, I know yours are too. Let us embrace and continue and begin a journey which will have benefits for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your intention, attention, your support, and your trust. God bless Dominica. God bless you all. Thank you.